Hello, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to create virtual directory in iOS 8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Sami, part by tech.pdcrest.com. Virtual directory is the name of the directory that we specify in iOS and maps the physical directory on the local or a remote server. The name of the directory name then becomes a part of an application's URL and users can request the URL from the browser to access the content of the physical directory. Okay, let's start our tutorial. Let's log on with administrative rights. Let me type my very secret password and hit enter. As usual, server manager will automatically open. Let me minimize this. And as you can see on the desktop, there are one folder and one file. This is a HTML page, which we are going to configure for our tutorial. As you can see, there are three, four links. And if I click on the link, it will show me for the download and let's close this let me show you what's in the source code the source of this HTML is this basically there is a directory which is a download and inside that there are four files which are going to be downloaded when we click on the link okay so first we are going to create a subdomain let's go to tools and click on DNS. If you don't know how to configure a DNS, you can see our previous tutorial. Click on forward lookup zone, prerequest.com, right click, click on new A record. And here I'm going to type A double P. So that will be app.prerequest.com and the local IP address that is 192.168.1.100. The host record app.prerequest.com was successfully created. Okay, close this. And here you can see the subdomain which is A double P app, which is mapped to my local IP address. Now let's ping the hostname which we have configured to check whether it is working properly. So on the keyboard press Windows R and type it down PING ping and your hostname and then press enter. Just hold on for a moment. Okay. As you can see over here pinging app.petercrest.com and it is pinging to my local IP address. Let's close this. Okay. And now we are going to go on IaaS, that is Internet Information Service. Let's click on it. Expand that drop down. Once more. And here we are going to create a new site that will be app.pdcrest.com. Let's right click on the sites. Click on Add Website. This will open the Add Website configuration window. Okay. Here I am going to type a name for the website that will be very descriptive app.pdcrest.com just hold on for a second okay select and copy the name okay and go to the physical path browse go to C drive inet pub sites and here I'm going to create one more folder and give the name app.pdcrest.com so it will be very descriptive let's paste the name which we have copied and this is the path which we are going to give to the physical directory the port number will be 80 as usual and the host name is app.pdcrest.com the checkbox is selected start the website immediately and click ok and here you can see app.pdcrest.com has been created. Right click on the website, click on explore and as you can see right now the folder is empty. So, so here is our index.html, we are going to copy this, I mean cut it and paste it inside the folder. So now there is one folder which name is index.htm. Basically this is the html file, let's close this, let's open is and select the app.pdcrest.com and click on browse ok here you can see the html page has been opened but when i am clicking on the page it is giving me an error 404 not found it is going to this path this directory basically download and it is not able to find the download folder or the file that's why it is giving me an error so let's close this Ok, so let's explore this site once again and as you can see there is a one file and there is no folder. The folder is over here. 
that is download now I am going to copy this folder into my e drive e drive is right now empty so let's copy the download folder inside the e drive okay and let me delete this file from the desktop and now let's open this folder and check it out what's inside there are four files and the path for this folder is e drive download folder okay so let's close this and go back to IIS okay right click on app.pdcast.com and here you can see add a virtual directory option and here I'm going to type the virtual directory virtual name that will be download so just hold on for a second let me type it down okay and the physical path the physical path will be D drive sorry E drive download folder and that's it now click OK there we go we have successfully created a virtual directory inside app.pdcast.com as you can see the download folder is not actually inside the app.pdcast.com root folder so let's click on browse oops 403 forbidden it is giving me this error because I have selected a virtual directory and clicked on browse now I have selected app.pdcast.com and I have clicked on browse there we go the page has been opened successfully demo site for testing by Sajin Sami app.pdcast.com now click on one.csv ok click on save and the file has been downloaded successfully no problem text file that's also done it's showing me tech.pdcast.com inside the text xls it is also saved no problem that means our virtual directory is working properly without any problem ok so once again let's select app.pdcast.com and click on advanced setting here you can see the advanced property of app.pdcast.com website let's click on ok now if I click on download folder and select advanced setting you can see the actual physical path for this virtual directory that is e drive download folder and the virtual path that means it is not a real path but it is a virtual path that is slash download click cancel if I right click on the download folder and click on explore it will take me to the physical path of the virtual directory okay so let's close this folder okay okay so let's go to our client machine and check it out what happens when we access this website from there so just hold on for a moment let me just close the IS first okay okay so we are on the client machine and let's launch the Internet Explorer let's type down the domain name that is app.pdcast.com just hold on for a second okay and the website has been opened click on one.csv and the file has been downloaded without any problem click close 4.png xls so let's close this as you can see on the user side the website looks same as any other normal website so this completes our tutorial of how to create a virtual directory thank you for watching hello friends thank you for watching this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update when we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends if you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus gtalk facebook twitter and skype this video tutorial is presented by sachin sami powered by tech.pdcrash.com